all right good day class and welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to construct a cycloid now with the diameter given say 50 millimeter you stretch 25 millimeter that's 2.5 centimeter on a pair of compass and uh, describe a circle with it so that's the circle now draw the diameter of the circle and extend it out like this with thin lines all right so the next thing you do is you divide the circle into 12 equal parts and you know exactly how to do that okay so there we have our circle divided into 12 equal parts so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay 0 and 12 they are on the same point now the next thing you do is you transfer, you drop a perpendicular line, a, a, sorry, a perpendicular line from uh, uh, on this line six zero, okay. Or better still, you can just transfer this line here, this horizontal line. Make sure you transfer correctly. All right, transfer it down here to this point and draw a horizontal line, thin line. All right, then also transfer to six. Please just ignore that dog backing, okay? Transfer to six. All right. So after doing that, okay. So after doing that, now you know these divisions here, okay? They are all equal. Just take one of them, say zero to eleven, or eleven to ten. They are all equal. Just take one of the divisions, okay? And step off twelve divisions on this line. So have you done that? This is zero ten. You can take any one of them. All right now step off 12 equal divisions on this line so this is one two three four five okay so there we have it now the next thing to do is to drop perpendicular to these points from from zero sorry from one to twelve okay so you drop a perpendicular you can use your set square to achieve that you drop the first one say on twelve thin lines all right then you cannot transfer the rest you cannot transfer the rest so you transfer this line here Okay, you transfer to 11, transfer to 10, and so on and so forth. Okay, so after transferring all the lines, then you now label this center C1, C2 to C12. Now remember this is 0, or you can call it C0, that's the center of the circle all right so you call this one c1 c2 c3 up to c12 all right okay so what you are going to do next is to draw horizontal lines that are parallel to this sorry about this that are parallel to these lines okay so now if you notice you discover that five and seven they're on the same words uh they are coinciding you understand so if you draw a horizontal line to go through five and seven four and eight three and nine is already drawn two and ten and one and eleven all right so to do that it is better you transfer the line so you don't make mistakes so major sorry align your set square with this line on top okay and transfer to seven now you would notice that seven and five they will coincide so you draw a thin line there then you will notice 4 and 8 will coincide. 4 and 8 will coincide. And you draw a thin line down. And so on. Okay, so we are done drawing all the lines. Now remember, 0, this point here, is the beginning of the cycloid. And the cycloid is going to end at 12 here. Alright? So how do we get the other points? Alright? So I will show you now. Okay, now, go back and stretch... Uh, 2.5 or just simply take the diameter of this uh, the radius of the circle rather okay 
So this is C O. C O is the radius of the circle, and you can go around just like that. Okay. So this is C O. Now I told you already. This is the beginning. So we already have our O dotted. All right, and we have our twelve dotted. So this is C. So for C O, we have O. Okay. So you now move to C one. Remember, you focus on the center line. All right. So this is C one. All right. Now you now look for line one. This is line one. Can you see it? And cut line one with same radius, with re same radius of the circle. You cut line one like this. So we have this point here. Then you now move to C two and cut line two. This is C two now. Where is line two? This is line two. Cut line two. We have this dot here. You move to C3 and cut line 3. So this is C3. You cut line 3. Move to C4 and cut line 4. So this is C4. And this is line 4. Alright. C5. You cut line 5. This is line 5. C6. Now C6 is definitely the top here. There's no point cutting it. Then you move to C7. C7. This is line 7. You know 5 and 7 they are on the same line. So you cut 7. So you move to C8. This is 4, 8. Line 4, 8. So you cut line 8. C9. You cut line 9. The center line. C10. You cut line 10. C11. You cut line 11. Okay, 12 has already been dotted. So there you have all the points, all the dots. All right, so you use uh, your pencil to what? Make a dot on each uh, point of intersection, all right? So you use a French curve or a flexible curve or even a broom to connect the cycloid. So there you have it. Make sure it's a clean curve. Now, to learn how to draw clean curves, go back to my the last video I posted on ellipse, all right? I demonstrated how to draw curves. So, you can go back to and see that video and uh, learn more. All right.